there, Casey Brown here. I'm the John Lennon Educational Tour Guide. The way I start writing songs most of the time is um, just I'll have an idea, whether it be lyrically or melodically. Sometimes something comes together just like that, sometimes it doesn't, but you never force anything. It's when you force it that it just like loses all of its, you know, creativity, just like magic. It has to be something that just comes from within, but um, something that I do encourage all writers to do or people that want to express themselves through music is to constantly write. Whether it makes sense, whether it's in, you know, perfect song structure, you know, it's writing down your ideas and your feelings and eventually they're all going to come together. I actually have more lyrics than I have melodies. So there are a lot of songs that aren't finished because I can't find a melody that, you know, is like that big. You know, that's why I love collaboration so much. It's, you know, getting in a room with someone else and just going back and forth with, you know, their thoughts and ideas and your thoughts is so much fun. Write about things that really matter. You know, the feelings, what really matters to you. It's really refreshing to hear, a, you know, an album that makes you feel every emotion. You know, sadness, happiness, excitement, love, you know, frustration, you know, everything. Like, write about every emotion you have, not just one. Every song that was ever in, you know, top 20, 40, you know, ever got airplay, I wish I wrote. You know, every songwriter wishes they wrote something that made them money, but um, <laughs> it's true. It really is. But um, you're like, dang, I wish I wrote that song. There was a song um, that Jessica Andrews sang, the Who, Who I Am. I, that was a great country record, you know, I, I wish I wrote that song, it's great. Um, but then, um, if there was a John Lennon song that I wish I wrote, that would definitely be Happy Christmas. The bus is amazing. It's an amazing place, you know, that moves. <laughs> but it's an amazing place, you know, that gives kids and even young adults opportunities to do things that they might not otherwise have been able to do. You know, they've got dreams and aspirations that they never thought possible, you know, you know, it's, it's very, very expensive to get into a studio. Even recording artists that are signed to a regular level, they have a hard time finding budget to, you know, afford getting in and hiring musicians and getting a chance to meet other people and just do, do what this bus offers. And it, coming in here yesterday and seeing those kids and seeing the, the passion in their eyes and all of their different talents just, you know, combined in one place and just enjoying an experience that I've so, you know, fortunately been able to experience all these years was inspiring and humbling at the same time. It's just like, wow, 